How is everybody doing? My name is Pixel Echo, and as of today, we are less than 24 hours away from Pixel Gun 3D PC Edition officially releasing. Now, in today's video, I want to show you the new and improved tournament game mode. This has been redesigned. There's a lot more on offer, but I want to show you how it works. Before we do that, though, the developers did release an article explaining how Pixelgen 3D account transfer is going to work from iOS to PC and from Android to PC. So this has definitely been the number one question. How does account transfer work? Now, the developers have said, please note that you must have the game version 24 0.4.5 now at the bottom right now they don't even actually have access to this if we go back to pixel gun 3d we go to settings i don't even have this version to make sure you are on the right version when you download the pc version just head into your settings check your version and it will actually tell you down here but it says on mobile devices so on your iOS device, your Android device, it says go to settings. So what you will do on your mobile device is go to settings, just like they have done here. Make sure you're on the correct version and then you will click on account transfer or deletion. Step two, initiate transfer. Select the transfer ID option, which I currently do have access to inside of here. It's inside of here, right here. And this is where you have to put a code which you have generated on your Pixelgun account on your phone or tablet. As for step three, it is going to say generate a code. Generate a password for transferring progress. This is a code that you do not share with anyone at all. So once you have generated your code on your mobile or tablet device, iOS or Android, you're going to boot up the PC version, the Steam version, go to settings, go to account transfer or deletion. And then it does say here, important notes. When you first launch the game on PC, a window will open with the choice between starting a new game or synchronizing your progress from your mobile device. From this menu, you can select the option that suits you and transfer your game progress from a mobile device to computer. Obviously, you're going to click on transfer ID. On your mobile device, it would have said basically generate a code. And that code will be like this. This one here is 0A611303. Just never share this. I believe these are temporary codes. So not like every single player has one code and that's it because it would just be a complete mess. And then once you've done that, you will have the option to continue your current account on Steam or replace it with your mobile progress. So for example, Steam players, they're currently level 18, right? You want to transfer from mobile if you're a level 65 player. 20,000 gems, 10,000 gems. Do you want to replace this account with this one? And it's completely up to you. It's not something all players will want to do. Because I know a lot of players will want to start again. So unfortunately, you can't just have your mobile device and a brand new Steam profile. Which to me kind of sucks a little bit. Because it does say down here, by clicking continue, you acknowledge the potential account loss for the account created on the new device. And then of course, you have to basically say, yeah, I'm going to lose my PC accounts. I want my mobile accounts. And then there's a whole bunch of other information down here. Enjoy your progress. Your old progress will now be available on PC. You might encounter a connection error on your old device. So if you have transferred from mobile to PC, it'll work fine on PC, but that account's not going to work great on your phone. That is because you cannot play on the same account on two separate devices. Important note though, it does say, Account transfer from Steam to other platforms is currently unavailable. Additionally, you can only link one in-game account to your Steam account. Now, I have three profiles on my iOS device. So does that mean I can only transfer one of those profiles to Steam PC? I'm going to have to find out tomorrow. But with that being said, if you're a Steam PC player... You make your account on Steam. Currently, you cannot transfer that account 
to a mobile device. But as for the good news, it does say it is important to emphasize that when you transfer your game progress between different platforms, for example, between Google Play and Steam slash App Gallery, your account will automatically synchronize with each of them. This means that you can start playing on one platform, such as Steam, and seamlessly continue your mobile device and vice versa. Important tip, and the first one is very important. If your game progress is not linked to your store account, for example, Google Play, App Store, etc., it will be lost during the transfer. So before you do anything at all, make sure your account is connected to the Google Play Store or the iOS App Store. Otherwise, you will lose your account. And it does say, selling, gifting, trading to third parties or any other forms of assignment violates our terms of service and may lead to a permanent account termination. These actions are strictly prohibited. This means the accounts I currently have created via Steam, which is this one right here, when I transfer my account from my phone, my iOS Apple device to Steam PC, this account will be gone. Available right now on the PC version is the new format of tournaments. It's classed as Ranked Season. Introducing the Ranked Match system. Play matches, get trophies, compete with other players and become the best of the season. So it looks like one tournament season lasts one pixel pass. Win ranked matches and get trophies. However, the higher your rank, the more trophies you lose in case of defeat. Fill the progress path with trophies to earn rewards. You'll get more trophies for winning in the random modes. Find the leaderboard to pick up rewards and make it to the top 100 players of the season. It says when the season changes, you'll be placed in a new leaderboard. If your rank is four or lower, it will remain unchanged. Only 30% of any progress above rank four will be retained on the new victories. This is the new layout for tournaments. It's all about being in the top 100. Now, of course, we have seen this system before. They've used them in the limited time events. That means the top three will be given the best rewards. And I see Joel is going for it. Top 20, they'll be given like 100 gems and a skin. Top 100, 75 gems and a skin. There isn't even 100 players as me making this video. So top three will be given the winner's laser beam which is a redesign of the Ultra Beam. This is Sniper Mythical Wall Break Electric Shock Disables Jumps, Fire Rate 71, Capacity 10, Mobility 65. Now, I wonder if this is going to be the same rewards every single season, or it's going to change every single pixel pass. It looks like they'll also be given the decorative item, which is the Golden Hero, which once again looks like a redesigned skin we already have in this game. And then obviously top 100 is, sorry, top 20 is 100 gems. And like a silver hero, because obviously gold top place, top 20 are classed the second place. And then if you finish in the top 100, you're given the bronze hero and 75 gems. Which, personally, I don't think these rewards are good enough. If you're willing to grind for, like, 30 days, I think they should have been a little bit more. Maybe, like, keys, weapon, skin, and honestly, something else. So, if you tap on the rewards, here are your rewards. You can get coins, pass XP, boosters. These are practically cosmetics chests. I'll be honest, the loot isn't necessarily impressive. There's no gems inside of here. There is a couple of gem boosters, but that's about it. But you can see here how the ranks are changing. There's now 10 different ranks. Purple rank chest, all cosmetics, 200% XP booster, not too bad. If we keep going, you if you do make it to 10, you get the poisonous PSA tournament skin. That's really the best that they could come up with. Golden skins chest which a lot of people already have these. Golden Skins Chest, Golden Skins Chest. I don't know if there's actually any new weapons inside of there, but to me, the, the loot that you get isn't that impressive. I'll be honest. If you go down to select mode, we've got random, team fights, and deathmatch. I'm keeping mine on random, and that is because the rewards are apparently the highest 
it is bugging out a little bit here so i'm not actually able there we there we go you kind of click there first place you'll get 30 trophies so if you go to this one which is team fights you'll be given 25 if you finish in first second or third and deathmatch you'll also be given 25 which to me makes no sense deathmatch is definitely a lot harder than team fight but I just keep mine on the random mode. Honestly, whenever you just play like a random one, it just puts you in like a deathmatch or a team fight anyway. Bro, these bots are insane, you know. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, these bots don't mess around. They don't mess around. But it, it is all just bots at the moment because no one has the PC version. This will change. I imagine this is going to be quite competitive, to be fair. Dude, dude. These bots are in... Oh, a nice little double there. Might have been a bot double, but I'll take it anyway. I'm going to reload this. These are just the weapons I managed to get on my account for now. But to be fair, this is not a bad weapon to use. Come on, I'm going to get you. Picked up, you just picked up my armor. What's it like to get a melee kill? Oh, my days. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea to use them. I'll tell you what, bro. The bots on this are insane. They really are. But relax. Come on. Got him. There we go. We want the win. Hey, I'll take the free gems as well. So at the moment, the creators who are playing this, we're just grinding against bots until the brand new PC version officially releases. <laughs> I honestly don't even know how I'm going to survive on the PC version though, because the free to play experience is definitely a lot harder. There's no ads to watch. There we go. We'll take those. Let's go. All right, we're going to make sure we win this game for a start. Let's get this reloaded. I need to try and find myself a better heavy, honestly. There we go. You're dead. I wasted all my gems on other things. A fury. Oh, whoa, reload. I thought this would have been good. I remembered on my main account that I have this at, like, mythical grade. So, against bots. Even against bots, it's not that great. Bro, what? Ah, damn, these guys don't mess around, huh? We should still win this. Yes. I want to make sure I get my win in the back. But I just want to show you guys what happens at the end when you do manage to eventually win a game. There we go. Let's go. So I wonder if you, like, the thing here, though, is are you, all, are you more beneficial to play tournament modes rather than playing regular, like, deathmatch or something? Because you're playing the same mode, but you get trophies. So surely that's more beneficial for you. And I actually haven't seen the list of banned weapons, which I imagine that's going to be coming very soon. There will be a whole bunch of banned weapons in here, no doubt. Here we go. He was using the Uzi. I haven't seen that in a while either. Bro, relax. They always have that special weapon, huh? Back away. I don't think so. Thank you. Come on. Where you at, boys? Hmm? Got very quiet down here. Us usually means they're bunched together. Down here, yes. Don't think so, Ava. Thank you. We're on a fury again. Someone's close. I can hear him. There he is. Once. No. Peek. There ain't nobody here. It's all the way for me to get a W anyway. I like the sky on this. It looks really, really cool. It definitely does. So, once you manage to successfully win a tournament match... Especially if it's random, you get 30 at a time if you play the random modes. There's 25 if you just play a specific mode. You can also activate your gem boosters. You get keys, you get coins, and you get uh, pass XP. It's definitely more beneficial to play this. So as you rank up, you'll start unlocking more things. This time, I managed to get myself a booster. I want to get myself the chest. Because it does show you the percentage chance, which honestly, inside of here, it's completely even. So I could end up with, honestly, any of this stuff. So I back out of this one. We've now made it to so-called rank one. We've been given our first green ranked chest. I'm guessing you can only do this once per season, though. I mean, none of this stuff screams excitement. Let's be totally honest. Anyway, managed to make it to level eight on this account. The hardest thing on pc is that there's just no ads for me to watch so earning gems is definitely so much harder i'll be totally honest with you guys anyway tournaments it's new improved and it's coming soon